Crisis? What crisis? How politicians ignore the existence of food banks. It's like Groundhog Day. A report into food banks' use is published. There are more people now than there were last year, month, week using them. Many people are referred to food banks due to delays and cuts to their benefits. Of the remaining referrals, a significant number are in low-paid, insecure work. In 2009-10, the Trussell Trust's food bank helped 41,000 people. This has risen to 1.1 million over the past year. What use is pontificating about numbers when you're one of the million? When it's not a statistic, but a child crying in the night because they wake up hungry. This is no coincidence that since the Conservatives came to power, the number of people using food banks has gone from 41,000 to 1.1 million, and they do not give a shit about it. And with the Conservatives promising another 12 billion in welfare cuts alone, who knows what the figure will be at the end of the next Parliament if they get back into power? This is why we have to repudiate the Tories every chance we get. George Osborne's welfare cuts are spine-chilling if Tories win election, warns his own deputy. George Osborne's own deputy has warned of spine-chilling welfare cuts if the Tories win the election. Working families, poverty-stricken kids and the disabled will be hammered by the Chancellor's 12 billion welfare acts. Treasury Secretary Danny Alexander said the likely impact would be 300,000 children cast into poverty, the Lib Dem told the Mirror. No wonder almost everyone is talking about stopping David Cameron and the bloody Tories getting into power. How many millions will the Tories push into poverty if they get back into power whilst they keep big business going, banks going and cosy up with little side brown envelopes for themselves. We can't allow this to happen. Surely we have enough humanity about us to stop these evil rich bastards destroying even more lives. We can spend 12 billion a year overseas to pay massive charity bosses salaries, but we can't feed ourselves. Just what the heck is going on? I was reading something that evil Nazi collaborator George Soros said back in 2004 about sovereign countries. And I quote, The rulers of a sovereign state have a responsibility to protect the state's citizens. When they fail to do so, the responsibility is transferred to the international community. Global attention is often the only lifeline available to the oppressed. Are we oppressed enough as a society for the responsibility to protect us to be transferred to the international community? I'm sure some poor bastards think we are at the moment, but if the Tories get in, I think millions will believe they are, and they'll have no hope, no future, and be crying out for help whilst HSBC are allowed to post 12 billion yearly profits and Royal Bank of Scotland can lose 3.5 billion and still pay over 420 million in banker bloody bonuses. What have we got to do to get some common sense in our bloody politics?